Hey there, everybody. This is Chris X coming at you really quick. I wanted to do, I got punked. I just did a book review here, a little bit, a little bit of a book review on Trust Me, I'm Lying, Confessions by a Media Manipulator from Ryan Holiday and got punked on YouTube. The video was uh, too long. So I think I fixed that, but I still want to record this because I think it's a really entertaining book. So let me give you the, uh, the book was written by a guy named Ryan Holiday, really interesting guy, young guy in, I think he just turned 30, maybe. Um, he's written some other interesting books that I'd also like to get to. Um, the Obstacle is the Way, I'd love to get that. Stillness is the Key, uh, a lot about stoicism, which I think would be really neat. Uh, but to get back to the book, the book that he wrote, Trust Me, I'm Lying, is fascinating. And the end of the day, the massive conclusion that he comes to at the end of it is anything that you uh, listen to on the news or read or consume is probably a narrative that somebody is trying to sell you. They are simply trying to get you to believe a way of thinking uh, in order for you to buy a product or to listen to a narrative or to believe a certain way. Virtually everything that you read um, has a spin to it. Somebody has a, an ulterior motive. Somebody is trying to sell you a concept, an idea, a product or a service, or to make you believe something about somebody. Uh, very little of it or, is organic anymore. And for a thousand different reasons, he goes into why that's happening and what's happened to our culture, not just the media, not just the big um, television stations that you see, that you set your watch every night, not just those, but media in general, everything that you consume always has a narrative to it. And really fascinating stories at the end about what you thought were conspiracy or what you thought were true stories and you read, you find out it was planted, it was all manufactured, it was meant to get you to believe one thing or another. So it's crazy what you get out of that. How I wanted to tie that into uh, Kadri LTD and what it is that I'm doing moving forward is if you understand that everything that you read or the vast, vast, vast majority of everything that you read or consume or listen to is a narrative, it's spin, it's somebody's, uh, someone's trying to sell you a perception. If you know that going into it, um, understand the information that you might get is going to be slanted, skewed, or tilted based on what they want you to believe. Well, if you want to act in a way that's contrary to that, then you need to think a little bit differently than that. So you need to be able to discern information for yourself. And the way I look at this is with Kadri LTD, who have you been listening to or what have you read that has made you believe a certain way? that you should probably now challenge those beliefs a little bit more aggressively. So you should look at what you thought was the truth about something and do a little bit more research to find out that that's actually, that's maybe not the right way to look at it. I've got a couple of examples in my world um, of a few things that people told me just simply weren't going to work that actually they do work. Uh, if you have the perception that an Ironman triathlon is just simply too hard. Um, it's, it's hard. Don't get me wrong. You could do the work though, and you can make it a little bit easier if you find a roadmap to someone that's already done it, um, which is what I did. So if you were to, um, gosh, every, everything that he talks about in the book, it's so, um, <laughs> an astonishing and disturbing book is what it was called, uh, which I would have to agree with. Um, the good news is, uh, as you can see there, the good news is um, you are no longer in the dark. Um, the truth has been revealed to you, uh, which is most of the stuff that you read or think that you might know is spin, someone's perception. So if you know that going into it, you can start to make some better decisions for what, you, what it is that you truly want to do for yourself. So keep that in mind, you can't always believe what you know. You can't always believe what you know. So if you've done some study and done some research on certain things, uh, and he goes in depth in, into some stories in the book about um, how people had gone as far as creating fake, fictitious studies. Um, an independent lab has studied and verified that this XYZ is good for you for this reasons. That story is leaked to the media. And then that story is used as validation that XYZ is good for you. 
uh, miracle cures, all those things that you could think of, uh, goji berries, acai, uh, green tea extract, you know, all these things that you would think that you read a story about is good for you. Uh, he even talks about a story of uh, a guy in the health and fitness industry, a scientist that was so fed up with the concept of basically fake news, fake information, lies, deceptions in his industry, that the science is 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 so prevalent, the majority of it is all fake. He got so sick of it that he actually planted a fake story that chocolate can actually make you thinner. Whole thing was fake and he did it by design. And the article went viral around the country and was published by a lot of major media outlets uh, to get to the conclusion that chocolate actually can make you thinner if you eat it. It was an entire spoof and he did it to prove that most of the stuff that you read out there anymore is fake. So you really have to dig far and wide to get the truth. And also that should make you feel good that what you thought might not have been possible for you actually could be possible for you. So a uh, very interesting book. I'd highly recommend reading it. Uh, this is Chris X. We'll talk to you later. Uh, stay tuned to this channel uh, for lots of other good stuff coming in the future. Much love. Be good. Be good at it. We'll see ya. Bye.